Hey, good morning, No Carbs Nation. How are we doing? Hey, this is uh, Wednesday, uh, September 16th? Yes, September 16th, Wednesday. Hey, I'm getting ready to go in for my CAC, C-A-C test, so wish me luck. This is where the rubber meets the road. This is where all the BS uh, stops. This is where the truth lies, right? Uh, almost three full years of uh, keto, carnivore, animal-based, whatever you want to call it, and today we find out uh, if my arteries are clogged or not. So wish me luck. I'll let you know how it goes. Have a good one. Hey, what's going on, No Carbs Nation? How we doing? Hey, today is Friday, September 18th, 2020. And a couple days ago, I took a quick video of me going into the hospital for my CAC test. Um, check out the calcium buildup in the arteries. Uh, so that was two days ago. I got the results back today. And a uh, little quick history. I wanted one of these done for some time now. My last doctor refused to do it. Uh, so I got a new doctor. Um, obviously, my my last uh, you know blood workup, labs, uh, cholesterol was not up to his liking. He was concerned. And I talked him into a CAC test. Um, so uh, just real quick on that cholesterol. Um, from uh, the last for the last nine months, my total cholesterol went from 266 to 282, HDL 57 to 46, LDL 190 to 213, triglycerides 94 to 117, and my triglycerides to HDL ratio went from 1.6 to 2.5. So even I was a little concerned. So uh, figured the uh, CAC test was exactly what I wanted to do. So. A long story short, uh, convinced them to uh, order it up, went and did it, got the results back today. And uh, I will say that after almost three years of eating an animal-based diet, mostly consisting of red meat, eggs, and cheese, high fat, high cholesterol, after th almost three years of doing that, uh, my CAC score was a whopping 14.7. Uh, based on uh, my research, that tells me I have about a 2% chance of a uh, cardiac event in the next 10 years. Um, so although it's not zero, which is ideal, like Dr. Baker and, and many others, um, I do know that from when I, uh, my heart cath a few years ago, there was some plaque in there. I don't know how much, so I don't know if I've actually improved, but certainly hasn't gotten any worse because again, three years of eating high fat, high protein, uh, animal-based diet, and ha having a CAC score of a 14, in my opinion, I'm pretty damn excited. So I, I thank God every day for showing me uh, this way of eating and, and uh, obviously the, the many, many health issues that that uh, I have corrected or healed uh, from doing this. So I wanna show you real quick. Here is the results, all right? I don't know if you can read that or not, probably not, but I will read it to you. 14.7 uh, again is the score. The heart is normal in size, aorta is normal, pulmonary arteries are normal, uh, no lymphadenopathy, whatever that means, um, no abnormality in my esophagus, lungs are clear, no uh, pneumothorax or pleural effusion, um, no cardiopulmonary disease present. So all in all, good. Um, so again, just wanted to share my results. I was hesitant to do this, and I did tell my oldest son that if I scored under 100, I would make a YouTube video. So I am a man of my word. So um, lessons learned for me, uh, meat heals, right? And uh, I'll do another video explaining all the laundry list of health symptoms a few years ago. And I can honestly say that I believe, without a doubt, if I did not go to an animal-based, high-fat, high-protein, low-to-no-carb way of eating almost three years ago, I wouldn't be here today. So for me, meat heals. Just say no to carbs. All right. Have a great one, No Carbs Nation. Thanks for listening. Thanks for following along. And uh, have a great day and get after it. We'll talk to you later.